I can't believe you're back together with Roy. Oh, yeah. We have such a solid foundation, you know. Oh, my God. You're so in love now. Yeah. Oh, you should come to my art show, by the way. Oh, art show. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I think a lot of people from the office are going to be there. Oh, yeah. Definitely I'll be there, for sure. Oh, this looks great. I'd love to be there, but my daughter's play is tonight. Damn it. You know, one of the other parents will probably videotape it. So. Oh, no. You should go. Well, it's important to support local art. You know, and what they do is not art. And it's all from the same series. Oh. Called Impressions. Oh. Not that I would call myself an impressionist, per se. But maybe one day. I hope so. Mm. I still need, you know, my breakthrough or whatever. Hey, babe. How are you? Good. I brought my brother, huh? Hey, Kenny. Hey, Pam. So cool you're back with Roy. Maybe we can rent that cabin on the lake again this summer. Yeah, that'd be nice. There'll be two of you and only one of me this time, since Denise left me. So I think it's fair if I only pay a third. Yeah, that seems fair. How <laughs> about this, huh? I show with my brother and no one from work is here? <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? It's cool if I go, right? I mean, I look at all of them. Yeah, I'll just, I'll drive myself home. To my place? Maybe I'm a little tired. Your art was the prettiest art of all the art. Thank you. The prettiest artist. I should get back inside. All right. And Pam, I love you. Love you too. You're the one who said we needed more culture. This is culture to you? <laughs> it's her first try. Yeah, on Van Gogh's first try, he drew the hands of the peasants. Meaning what? Meaning real art takes courage, OK, and, and honesty. Well, those aren't Pam's strong points. Yeah, exactly. That's why this is motel art. Thanks for coming. Pam Caso. Sorry I'm late. I had to race across town. Oh, Michael. Wow. You did these freehand? Yep. My god, these could be tracings. Oh. Look at this one. Wow. You nailed it. How much? What do you mean? I don't see a uh, price. Um, you want to buy it? Well, yeah. Yeah, we have to have it for the office. I mean, there's my window and there's my car. Is that your car? Uh-huh. <sighs> that is our building. And we sell paper. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. What? Do you have something in your pocket? It is a source of beauty. And without paper, it could not have happened. 
Unless you had a camera. Oh, come on, what do you want? What do you want? Do you want a million dollars? Do you want to hit me? You want me to get down on one knee and beg you? I want to hit you. What? I want to hit you, I'll do that. <laughs> okay, what? I don't, are you kidding? No, are you kidding? Ye no, I don't. All right, come on, I'll take off my jacket and tense my stomach and you just. <laughs> no, I don't think I can hit you in the office. Okay. So um, we'll do it after work. Hmm? In the parking lot, in front of everyone. I'm gonna hit you as hard as I can. Okay. 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 See you then. See you. Hey. Hi. Quick question. Yeah. Are you scared? Never. About what? A little. What are you talking about? We heard about the punch. What punch? Pam, she's gonna punch the crap out of your face after work. I'm pretty sure we said slap. No, it's a punch, and Pam has that crazy pregnancy strength now. I'm getting concerned that you don't seem to understand what's going to happen. Do you? Uh, I'm good. All right, see you there. Pam, can I talk to you for a second? Um, oh. I heard about the hit. Just to be sure, it's all company property, right? Right. Yeah, okay, I think we should probably be okay. 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 And the, the, the power comes from a back foot. So it's, it's all one motion through the body. So there's, you stay a little low, and there's a twist. You keep your shoulder down, and you kind of throw out the arm. Pow! Okay, wait, it's, you're saying it comes from the foot? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm picking my daughter up late so I don't miss this. Hey, everybody. He's not in the men's room, although the seat was warm, so we may have just missed him. My money's on Pam. It's not a fight. What other outcome could there be? Michael could win. How? He can't hit back. Why can't you just agree with me sometimes? Am I scared of getting hit in the face? No. Every day, weirdos pay dominatrixes hundreds of dollars for that very privilege. I'm scared I'm gonna love it. Let's do this. It's okay, guys, I can handle this. Everybody can go home. We're here for the show, Michael. You're just a bunch of voyeurs. Are you eating popcorn? It has almost no calories. You ready? <sighs> yes. You have to keep your hands down. I right? know. <sighs> okay. All right. No, oh, God! Michael, you have to keep your hands down. All Put right. your hands in your pocket. Okay. Pam, Pam. I'm really sorry, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? So many things, I don't know, it's hard to choose. How about for dating my mom? Maybe that's And it. dumping her on her birthday? Yeah. Yes. Okay, just don't ever date a member of my family again. Okay, I promise. For the record, your mom came on to me. Holy crap. Are you okay? No. You're okay. Feel better? No, you were right. Wait, why are you limping? I don't know. Let's get some raw meat on that face. I've got a chicken in the freezer upstairs. As I watched Pam's big, strong hand coming toward my face, I saw my entire life flash before my eyes. And guess what? I have four kids and I have a hover car and a hover house. And my wife is a runner and it shows. And Pam and Jim are my best friends and our kids play together. And I am happy and I am rich and I never die. It doesn't sound like much, but it's enough for me. Good, ah, good, just keep it on there for another good. five minutes. Cold Let the light. swelling go down. <sighs> Oh, thank you. Thanks. I owe you one, Dwight. Fire Jim. No. I'm cashing in the favor. Fire him. What are you talking Do it. Promote me. Try managers. Forget that. Can I have an office? No. You know what? You can keep your stupid favor. It's worthless. And this is my dinner on your face. I'm keeping it. Oh, that feels better. 
Do you have an address yet in Colorado? No. Did you break the shadow cabin? No. Michael, you all right? Yeah. And boots, man, really hurting my feet. Pam. I'm just gonna go to Carbondale to pray some shredders. I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah, so I know I told everybody that tomorrow is my last day, but I'm, I'm gonna be leaving tonight. I uh, head to the airport at four. And I said goodbye to half of them. Okay, everybody, come on. Conference room, five seconds. Here we go, hurry up, let's do this. Yes, what is this about? What is this meeting about? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, okay, here we are in the conference room once again, and I just wanted to call you all here together because I have something important. Well, there's two things, actually. Okay, first, I would like a whereabouts on Pam, and secondly, Phyllis, how are those mittens coming? Because I would actually like to bring them home and pack them, and I am leaving for the day at four. They're almost done, but my knuckles are swelling a little. And well, power through the arthritis, Phyllis, you can do it. Is that it? Um, hmm? Is that it? Um, hmm. No. No. There's a special guest that I would like to invite to say one last goodbye. So here he comes. He's coming right in. Hi, everybody! It's Ping! Yes. And I'm here to say goodbye to all you wonderful people. Thank you, everybody! You've been so wonderful! We've had such a good... I love you all! I love you very much! Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. See you right now! See you tomorrow, boss. Later, guys. Almost everybody. So, Polly's my family now. She's my family. And the babies that I make with her will be my children. The people that you work with are just, when you get down to it, your very best friends. They say on your deathbed, you never wish you spent more time at the office. But I will. Gotta be a lot better than a deathbed. I actually don't understand deathbeds. I mean, who would buy that? Well, I guess this is it. Hey, will you guys let me know if this ever airs? Thank you. All right, oh. This is gonna feel so good getting this thing off my chest. No, he wasn't sad. He was full of hope about Colorado, and he was hoping to get an upgrade as an awards member. And he said he was just real excited to get home and see Holly.